investors wish to invest their investment in multiple financial assets that mean uh, whatever the savings that they have uh, part of the savings they invest in uh, securities part of the savings they invest in mutual funds part of the savings they invest in fixed income securities uh, and a part they keep as a cash so uh, this is uh, how normally investors in the sense uh, allocate their resources to various financial assets now in security analysis we call this as a portfolio construction uh, as individuals have a portfolios similarly organizations also have the portfolios especially in case of a investment banks or a mutual funds they create a large portfolios and uh, uh, allocate funds into different financial assets now there are multiple objectives uh, for this portfolio construction or diversifying of their uh, savings into different things one of the main objective of a portfolio construction or uh, having a portfolio is to minimize the risk in the sense uh, by investing in multiple stocks we try to protect ourselves from the unforeseen uh, events happen in one financial asset or the other financial asset and we try to see that if we lose the money in a fine one financial asset then the same can be earned in another financial asset when we say a portfolio portfolio is a combination of securities or a portfolio is a combination of different financial assets or by having a portfolio of a financial assets we try to minimize our risk so in this video i'll explain you how we calculate the portfolio return i explain you the concept of portfolio return with a small example suppose you have a rupees uh, 1 lakh with you as your savings and you want to make this investment in two financial assets let us say you choose two financial assets as uh, stocks now you have a stock 1 and you want to invest some part of your uh, savings in stock 1 and other part in stock 2 and you decided to invest 50000 in stock 1 and 50000 in stock 2 that mean you are investing 50% of your uh, savings in stock 1 this equals to 50000 by 1 lakh so this is 0.5 similarly here also 0.5 or 50% so 50% in stock a and 50% in stock b or 50% in stock 1 and 50% in stock 2 these we call as uh, weights so weight is what proportion of amount that you invested in each security now let us say security 1 that is a stock 1 gives you 14% of a return and stock 2 gives you 10% of a return so in this case your portfolio return will be so always that we are going to calculate a portfolio return is return on portfolio equals to weight of stock 1 and return on stock 1 plus weight of stock 2 return on stock 2 so your weight is 50% that is 50% of your savings you invested in stock a or stock 1 so this is 0.5 into on this stock you are getting 14% then in a stock 2 you invested 50% and stock 2 is giving you 10% of a return so this comes to 7 plus 5 so your return is 12% that is your portfolio return on portfolio is 12% take another example suppose uh, there is a, a stock a and a stock b and you are uh, expected return on uh, stock a is 20% and expected return on stock b is 16% and your weight you invested uh, 80% of your money in stock a and 20% in stock b so your re portfolio return is return on portfolio this equals to 80% of weight 1 so this equals to uh, weight of stock a times return on stock a plus weight of stock b times return on stock b so 
So this is weight is 0 0.8 into 20 plus 0 0.2 into 16. So this comes to 0 0.8 into 20 plus 0 0.2 into 16. So 19.2. So your return on portfolio equals to 19.2 percent. In the sense by having two assets your uh, portfolio return is 19.2. The portfolio return depends on your weightage. If you change your weightages then your portfolio return will change. And uh, if you want to have a more return uh, from your portfolio then uh, you will prefer investing in a stock which is paying you uh, high return. And if you want to uh, balance your returns then you can go for a combination of uh, both the stocks. And if you have a multiple uh, assets then you can uh, extend this equation. So return portfolio equals to weight of A plus uh, sorry, times return of A plus weight of B times return of B plus weight of C times return of C and weight of N security times return of N security. So this way you can uh, extend your uh, portfolio return equation. Thank you. In my next video, I will show you how to calculate a portfolio written in Microsoft Excel.